Hey guys, how y'all doing? I'm here to give you guys a recap on the new episode of Jojo no Kimo no Boku and Ogun no Kaze, or you could call it Jojo's Bizarre Adventure Part 5, Golden Wind, on Episode 5. Now, this episode right here, it feels a little simple. I guess I don't really have to recap too much, maybe a little bit small vague detail here and there. But overall, I thought the episode was short, either because I was into it so much, or it just felt like it just went by so quick. Like, it's been happening to me already on the fifth episode and i'm into the episode so much that i guess it felt like it was 10 minutes or less <laughs> anyways um let's just get this recap started we had to it that bruno himself is telling journal how they work in this organization they're pretty much a big gang organization and they have a couple ranks in the system which the boss will have his, have his attention to but apparently we get to know this for sure the boss, we, they don't even know exactly who he is. He never reveals himself at all. He just like, um, just a silhouette stranger without knowing who he is. Not to mention, there are many ranks in the system where, like, um, there's a couple rank or something. Which is something that will allow the boss to get to pay attention to you should you really reach that rank. But in order to, like, um, climb up, I guess you have to do a couple tasks or maybe, like, missions that will say like oh this guy's like pretty much like um knows what he's doing he's pretty much an OG I guess you could say that in certain like um certain ranks above like couple could be like one of those like um okay this guy's pretty good let's rank him up you know but okay enough of me being a little confusing but aside from that like I said Bruno explains to Giorno Giovanni that Giorno Giovanna like there's there's rankings in the system, and depending what rank you get, you get closer to the boss. Like, which I'll call him the OG, okay? <laughs> I know it's like, I know it's like, um, that should not be used in this, um, in this series, even though there's mafia and gang related activity, but what other choice am I gonna have to say? But aside from that, um, aside from that, we have to it that after, like, um, we hear, we hear other things. After hearing other things about like um, blending into society and knowing what you're doing, etc. In order for you to actually get closer to the boss, you had to climb up in the ranks and must get must get acknowledged, etc. Of course, eventually throughout the series, there's rumor where Popo does the Popo's death was accumulating throughout the entire um society of where Journal Giovanna and his crew members are at. Of course, we get to we get an introduction of our crew, of our um new characters, which apparently many people are saying that this guy's best boy, this guy is the best guy, this guy makes the series, you know that kind of thing. Aside from that, we get an introduction to Mister Narnancia and let me see here, um Fugo and Abacino or something, etc. 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 Um. These guys right here does not really like journal that much. They did they did have a little like um situations where Mr. goes like we have to go with we can't just choose four or something because it's a bad number, you know? While like uh, Fugo is trying to teach um Narnantia, which he insulted him one time because he got he got six times five correct as thirty, but he puts twenty eight. And of course Narnantia does not take this lightly for calling for calling him stupid, you know, I, he goes, he's like, I'm gonna kill you for saying I'm stupid, boy, you better watch your mouth, <laughs> kind of thing, you know, you guys get that, you guys get the idea if you watch the episode, aside from that, um, I think the guy, what's his name, um, Abaccio actually took a leak in the teacup, I was about to give it to Giorno, you know, and Giorno just drank it right off the bat, but he did not say anything about, like, he has an ability, he didn't say much about his ability, but he did have a jellyfish or something, like, absorb all that liquid whatsoever, blah, blah, blah. But aside from that, they go like, hey, man, are you a stand user? He goes like, who knows? But one thing was sure, I am going to say that that I have an ability of my own. You guys have your own abilities, you know? That kind of thing. Eventually, Bruno ends up, ends up getting a phone call and was told about, like, Popo, you know? And they go like, it's time for us to go after Purple's fortune when Bruno, um, um, Gets a boat rent, gets a renting a boat, etc. You know. But aside from that, um, the way how I see Bruno in this episode is that a lot of people actually trust him, etc. You know. So what Bruno says is pretty much true. In order for you to maybe blend in society, you just gotta get you, you just, you just gotta get along with a lot of people. And Bruno 
has a big re rep reputation or rep recognition that people actually like him, etc. Which I go like, I guess this guy must have done a lot of good things in order to like um, keep his profile low in a certain sense that he's not much of a bad guy, but you know, putting on a mask, for example, pretty much. But he's a good person at heart, as Jorno says it. But aside from that, after reaching a certain location or somewhere around the middle of the sea or ocean, we see to it that um, Bruno explains to everyone that Purple Popo, the big fat weasel bag, gotten killed, got committed suicide. But apparently, that was not really the case, as Jorno himself is the only person that killed him. But he does not reveal that yet, or he does not reveal that. Either way, well, if he reveals it, all the freaking goals and everything he wants to do will be shattered into pieces. That much we can consider. But aside from that, Bruno says that he knows where Popo's fortune is, and before he can get into further details, Nanansha ends up disappearing all of a sudden, followed by um, Mista and then Fugo. Eventually, Bruno and Giorno, along with Abaccio, was trying to analyze the situation of the enemy, of course, you know? Of course, um, freaking um, Bruno asked Abaccio to use his ability, but he goes like, Why should I use my ability in front of this guy, dude? I mean, you just you brought this guy randomly into our group. I never considered him one of our teammates, okay? Eventually, Jono ends up having a small talk with Abaccio and eventually decides to put himself as bait out there and gets attacked, you know? And Abaccio calls Jono Giovanna crazy and he summons his stand, stand to like um, get ready to like um, kick some major butt. So overall, without a lot of detail, we get the introduction of Bruno's team, a little information from Bruno himself on how to get acknowledged by the OG or the major boss of the entire gang that entire game of Pashone, you know? Yeah, I'll call him the OG because, like, much more easier and I'm pretty sure if you guys know what OG means in certain gang-related criminal activities, it means, like, um, super boss or whatever, whatsoever, you know? But, yeah, in order to get close to the OG boss in Pashone, you have to get acknowledged and climb your ranks. And depending on what you do, you will, like, um, whatchamacallit, um... You will climb up. <laughs> and of course, going after Popo's fortune after they heard about Popo committing suicide, which is not likely that which is, which is, okay, sorry for stuttering, which is something that didn't really happen. There's no way he committed suicide in a small cell. He's not that stupid. He was killed by Jorno himself, but yeah, Jorno does not reveal that, obviously. He does? Oh well, your main objective goes bye-bye in the, in the toilet. <laughs> But yeah, aside from that, like I said, repeating myself without a lot of detail, introduction to Bruno's team, going out to Popo's fortune, and they get attacked in the middle of the ocean. Sucks for them, but we'll have to see, because Abaccio, or how you pronounce his name, is about to reveal his stand use using abilities. <laughs> so until then, I will see you guys in the next video. I'm Alpha Zero, people. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time, alright? Peace out. Bye-bye.